si es que nunca te vuelvo a ver Pues que te vaya bien ¿Qué vas a hacer? Cuando te enteres que te anduve buscando y nunca te encontré ¿Qué voy a hacer? El día en que te vea feliz con alguien más y en mí ya no pienses As you can see, we're in a little box truck. It's an old school Chevy. Right now we turned it on, we're struggling. But as always, guys, welcome to the De La Bueno channel. Welcome to the truck channel, welcome to the car channel. We post a lot about trucks, a lot about cars and everything. And well, thank you guys for the, man, the subscribers are going up. Thank you guys, for making the family grow up and everything. And well, yeah, right now we're in a 71 uh, C10. And yeah, we're preparing to take it to go to get painted. I'll be showing you everything once it's on the trailer. So right now we're, Try to keep that throttle on for it to stay on. I believe the truck is still in line six, original motor, original paperwork, everything's right here. And well, yeah, I'll show y'all how it looks. It does need work, as in like the bed put on and all that stuff. But that's why we're taking it to the painters to make this bitch look <laughs> badass truck. And well, yeah, guys, uh, continue watching the video. All right, guys, so this is how we were towing. Got my brother's L5P. There's a little tomato truck, we call it, because of the wood on the side. In Mexico, they actually have, like, the tomato trucks and all that stuff. Wood on the side, but the original bed is there. It's going to get all mounted on. See what color my pops wants and all that stuff. But, yeah, it's all there. All original. It's pretty clean. Got all the mirrors and everything in there. Just the bed need to get mounted. But, yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to load that bitch off. And we'll see how it does. I'm gonna turn it on. It's still got the inline six, I think, the little V6 motor, or well, six cylinder. And well, yeah, let's get the little jump. How do you just keep roll normal? Yep, yep. Little tomato truck. You got a fucking R34 in here. <laughs> That's wild. Bro, it's gotta be stick, right? It's auto. Wow. It's auto? Wow. Damn. <laughs> Yeah. Let me do a whole root piece. Dude. Those side skirts look badass. I still badass. That's R34 though. Come on. Who finds one of these? For real, dude. Who has one of these things? Like, just laying around. That's badass. It's like black and then I did two or three purples over it. Just to get them like in the sun purple. Bro, that looks good. Bro, it's like a shadow. Like, bro, this, this shit is hard. Bad. When we were talking about it, he was like, I don't want it to pop. I was like, bro, let me do a purple that's like a little bit lighter so it isn't too in your face. But like, if you're looking for it, it's there. Fuck yeah, look at this. What do you want? Like lace? It's a bunch of R34. What the hell? We'll just do some crazy stuff. Fuck yeah, dude. This stub the root piece are my favorite, too. Yo, this is like one of the dream cars, bro. That's what I said. And he's like, he's jumping to me. He's like, bro, you think you're rid of this thing? Like, this is an endgame car. This isn't like, oh, the trailer's for a tutorial. This is like put under a glass box next Oh god, bro. Oh, the sad part's auto, man. <laughs> the auto, and the, uh, I don't know what engine that is, but it's the uh, NA1. NA1 no yeah. turbo? Shout out to that crew. So I was like, whatever you do, you're going to have to put uh, five speed and a like 1J, 2J something in it. The process is <laughs> hard stuff, because. But I think, I think he just wants to show it off. I just drive it. <laughs> off, you know? That's badass yeah, shit. Show me sweet cruise around, dude. Those tail lights, bro. So, so aggressive. aggressive. And with the, I don't know what the keys are. I mean, he's got the lights in it that do the. Like jet afterburn thing. Sheesh, bro, you need one of these. <laughs> Drift you one of these. <laughs> oh, bro, I finally, I didn't tell you, man. I finally got it tuned by that guy, the RS, RS guy from Florida, the one that comes oh, over really? here. Oh, really? I got it tuned. Oh, that's you went to college here? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Some cool shit yeah, bro, it's fucking fire, yeah, dude. This whole facility is nuts, dude. I don't know if we'll do it with an officer doing it. A bunch of fucking. What do they look like? Yeah. R34. Who's that? Who is that? Dude, look at the lights. It looks like a fucking jet. <laughs> Shit's so deep, boy, dude. This is like my end game, end game car. Bro, this was some clear tail lights. Fuck. That's yeah. Awesome. <laughs> and then leave it. Sheesh. I just gotta buff it now and then lock it together. All right, guys. As you can see, my boy got R34s. He got everything in there, so. 
Monday, he's going to start on the truck. We're going to see what's up. But as of right now, we got the trailer still on the truck. We'll see what we're going to do with the trailer. All right, guys. So as I mentioned, uh, we do got the trailer in the back. Free load right now. And well, with the trailer being free, we actually took the time right now and came to pick up a truck. Another truck, another classic truck, which in this time we're gonna switch it up. We're actually gonna get a Ford. It's, uh, I believe, an F100, Armando. Mm -hmm. With a full Crown Vic uh, frame swap. Everything is mostly done. It just needs to be all put together as a suspension wise, but the motor and trans, that's, uh, that's up to us to decide what we're gonna put into it. Which Armando wants to go 6-0. You know, Chevy and Ford, I don't really do that, but he wants to be reliable. I would like to do a Ford on Ford, you know, like a 5 0 Coyote or something like that, but you know, if we want that bitch running ASAP, you know, the, the best thing we could do right now is just throw a 6 0. But that's gonna be up in the air. Uh, we don't know exactly what we're gonna do to it, but I'll show y'all shortly. It's a little like two hour drive from here, we're in Alabama now. And it was, yeah. Can you watch it? I'll show y'all real quick. They got a little workshop on the other side. Yeah. That little ass road. <laughs> About the biggest truck I've ever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's nice, right? It's nice. Damn. Oh, good. Look at this, all nice. Oh, you got the little, uh, remember that truck you're talking about? The oh, yeah, the little old school right there. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, that's a little Ford right there. Get over there. This little old school. Uh, actually, I've got, I'm a Chevy guy. Yeah, yeah. This patina looks so I've got, good. I've got two small bars, so. It's already notched. Just waiting for a drive trim. There's the whole interior. Yeah. But I had it. Jeez. Jeez. And everybody kind of looked at it. To me, <laughs> it was more than Patina looks so yeah. fucking good. Yeah, so I got most of the suspension work already done to it. She's motor and trans, of course, the drive is there to do the pinion, radiator, all that other stuff. Little badass truck. That's what it's missing right there. We really don't need truck. Got a couple more builds out here. This is what I would What a race car you got building. This is what works yourself. You do it all yourself. Yeah, that that that's my it's my hobby. Yeah, I can't afford it. For the what? Yeah, the it's all full race truck, race car. Oh, I want a, I want five thousand. Yep. All right, guys. So we ended up going with the Ford, little F one hundred, strapping it down with the Denali already. It's gonna be a cool little project, Armando. Yep. 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 So, yeah, little patina look on that bit. <laughs>